What's up guys, Techlab Shroom, and you think that 32-bit devices are just a memory from the past, they're not usable, they're completely old devices that had to be destroyed. Well, today guys, in this video, I'm gonna say that you are wrong, because these devices actually have even more possibilities than on the iPhone 7 Plus or any other new model of the iPhone. So, today guys, in this video, we're gonna be diving into a whole another world where Apple doesn't have any control. Well, Apple doesn't have the signing window where we can actually install yeah, others iOS version alongside our primary one and yeah this of course requires a jailbreak for your device and luckily there is one not only one but even two for 9.3.4 and 9.3.5 all of the links guys will be down below in the description in case you need that jailbreak and the tutorial how you can do this on your device and yeah let's go ahead and get started guys and let's take a look at this new dual booting system yeah okay guys so first of all let's go ahead and start off from the installation so first of all you need to have a jailbroken device if you don't have it then you can jailbreak your phone using the tutorial that is going to be in the description next go ahead and go to your city of course and add, click on edit then add and add that source that you see right now so this is the cool booter Dot com this one it's also going to be in the description for you guys so don't worry about this so after you've done this go ahead and click on done and then select this one select all packages and now install the cool booter beta this is still in beta but anyways go ahead and click on install install once again and it should pretty much start installing the cool booter from right now and now you're gonna see the ios cool booter icon on your home screen so now let's go ahead and launch the install app and it's gonna look like this of course click on install and now you'll be able to actually select the firmware that you'd like to install. So for me, it's going to be the iOS 7.1.2, the latest one from the list. Click on I'm ready. Uh, click on yes in the whereabouts. Uh, and of course, jailbreak it if you want to. So now it's going to be downloading the firmware. And yeah, let's wait a few minutes until it's going to finish up the whole process. Yeah, and it has just finished downloading the firmware. And as you can see, that's extracting and verifying and stuff like that. It kind of like an iTunes, I guess. But it really reminds me of the times of the iPhone 3G. Man, we could do so much stuff with the iPhone 3G. Even, you know, install the Android on it. Oh, and almost forgot to mention, guys, it's better to have the iPhone connected to a power source or have at least 50% of the charge left. Because in case something happens, you won't be able to actually re store the whole process and oh we have the storage almost full warning uh, click on done of course and as you can see that's finishing up the installation and in a few seconds I'm gonna be back to you jailbreaking and stashing oh I wish that was so easy with the new jailbreaks and we are officially done so as you can see that says we need to restart the device and let's do this now after restarting the device of course we need to re-enable the jailbreak so run Phoenix once again and let's get back to the cool booter so let's see if we can boot and now we can just click on boot here as you can see that says lock the device so let's lock it just like that and now in 10 seconds you can unlock the device and it's gonna do the job so right after 10 seconds let's click on the home button and that should be pretty much it now just wait until this will enter your Bose mode yeah here it is and as you can see that's putting into iOS 7 and we're officially in the iOS 7 as you can see that's the interface of the iOS 7 of course I'm gonna select the language yeah of course the region now I'm gonna just join my network so basic setup as you can see we need to skip a few steps in here because we have to I don't want to spend time on this uh, now now I don't want the passcode here come on continue don't send and get started so as you can see that's the iOS 7 on the iPhone 4s so let's see if it's snappy enough to compete with the iOS 9 or is it any faster uh, so let's open the applications, a few the photos, and as you can see that's really snappy, that's really fast. So it's actually faster than the iOS 11, or I mean the iOS 9, so let's see if it's the iOS 7 in here, so about, and there we have it, 7.1.2. And yeah, I mean this is how the iOS 7 looks like on the iPhone 4s, and it's absolutely usable. If you guys are using this device as your main device, please install this firmware because it's absolutely snappy. This is like using the iOS 11 on the iPhone 7 Plus. So as you can see, that's pretty great. You can also install a CDI tweaks from it. As you can see, CDI launches perfectly and even faster than on the iOS 11, I'd say. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. That would be so, so much appreciated. Also, please share this video because lately our tech labbers have not been notified about new videos. So that would be also appreciated so much. And as always, guys, Stay tuned for more videos and peace out.